Welcome back, this is the Jack. Today we got Gunslinger BS Old West B7 Suicidal. I've been playing some chess, as I mentioned in a recent episode. I've been playing some chess. I've been actually playing a couple of games. Now I played two earlier today. I've got, uh, got, like I said, about 500 of the, you know, ELO points. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a particularly great chess player, and I'm not, I'm not matching up against other, you know, not particularly... I'm, I'm matching up against other people who are also not particularly great. Um, but uh, I'm having fun with it anyway. It's it's good fun. Chess is a fun game. Been learning some of the uh, the end game stuff, you know, with the uh, the mates, two bishop mates and queen king mates and all this kind of stuff. I'm not very good at them. <laughs> I certainly can't figure them out on the fly very easily. Not very consistently anyway. I understand the concept behind it, right? You got your your queen and your king, right? So you want to put your queen in a position where it's limiting the uh, the opponent, the uh, the uh, the opposing king, to you know a minimum of two spaces, so that the king can always move. And then you want to put your king somewhere that uh, will protect your king, that will protect your queen when you lock the king out of the final move. Um, and that's kind of how it goes. So you just keep locking it, locking it, locking it, and then you put your king somewhere so that you can move a piece into the the final position to 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 to, to finally take it out. I understand the the idea behind it, the concept, the theorem, you know. But putting it into practice is kind of hard. Understanding, you know, how pieces move and how they all kind of and being, you know, having that sort of implicit understanding of it all is is a whole other thing. But uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm getting there anyway, you're not really there for it, but uh, I played two games. I won the first one against some weirdo who was asking me for my ASL and wanted my WhatsApp number. I was like, nope, you're not getting it, you friggin' weirdo, you stupid son of a... Uh, and then uh, I lost another one to somebody who I was about to mate, but I ran out of time because I was doing the 10 minute rapids because, I don't know, they just seemed like the most fun to me. I don't want people to take their sweet old time on their turns, okay? I want people to... I want the, the games to be moving, you know, reasonably quickly, and... Rapids is kind of what does that, you know? But I timed out. <laughs> Which is fine. I would have got it if I was... It was a, I was in a queen-king mate kind of thing. And I was, like, getting to the point where I was like, yeah, we're about to get it, and then, uh... I timed out. We were, like, three turns away from mate or something like that. Um, but I just... I, didn't, I wasn't, you know experienced enough to pull it off uh, in, a, in a good way and uh, I paid the price for that so but I've been having fun I've been having a lot of fun and on that note uh, weirdos messaging me and stuff that's just kind of the way it goes you know when you're when you're a girl on the internet you're a girl on the internet that's just the way it goes you know somebody's like hey are you a girl or a boy and you're like hey I'm a girl and then all of a sudden they want to start sending you penises and all this kind of stuff because I'm like you, 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 you played a chess game you didn't do good and then uh, all of a sudden it's it's into flirting mode and I'm like you know you didn't really impress me much and then you're really like anti-impressed me so you know just kind of keep the dick in the pants all right keep keep it in your pants but uh, it happens all the time on, on anywhere you know you pick a game, you pick a thing, and you'll you'll be you'll be hitting on for for all kinds of stuff. And it's always uh, it's always annoying to a certain extent because it, it's with anything, right? With anything, it, it, any anything that's putting you into the minority, right? Not necessarily the minority, but um, the perceived minority, anyway. Because you're not, you know, like, women aren't the minorities. Women aren't minorities. They're, it's fairly, you know, looking at it from a, a, a specifically, you know, population standpoint, women make up about, you know, half the population. It's just that, uh, you know, we're, we're perceived as, uh, as lesser beings in the, in the grand scale of things. And, you know, lower pay and less respect on, like, everything, which is highly annoying. But, uh... You know, whenever you're whenever you're in a in a minority of any kind or anything that's perceived as a minority or you know treated as one, um, you'll be people will comment on it and they'll want to talk about it and they'll want to either you know in, 
they'll, they'll, they'll want to take advantage of that in some way. They'll want to hit on you. They'll want to, you know, send you pictures of their penis. They'll want to, you know, call you names if you're, you know, gay or something. You know, they'll, 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 they'll say something, and it's not stuff that's going to make you feel good about yourself, really. Um, and uh, then you got people who aren't a part of any minority. You know, your typical cis, you know, cishet white male living in America you know <laughs> you're your typical you know the, the 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 most bland boring normalist you know typical person you know um, and I'll be like well I don't experience any of that I don't I don't see it like I don't really think it was that bad like, well yeah you're <laughs> no, nobody's saying it to you because there's nothing to to attack on you you're 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 you know normal quote unquote so it's always it's always funny talking to, to people about that because you know you don't you don't see it unless unless you're at the you're at the butt end of it right and even even if you do see it it's not necessarily always stuff that you're gonna perceive as being a problem either because that's just kind of the way that that society kind of is um, it's just it's just the way she goes so, basically what I'm saying is as a um, Canadian, trans, uh, straight, I'm straight, but I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of not straight, but I'm, I'm straight, um, woman, everybody hates me, it's just the way it goes, it's just, it's just, it's just how the cookie crumbles, you know, you just, you just accept it. It's always funny seeing people who are we really on the boss already. It's always funny seeing people who uh, don't experience this kind of stuff join into a community full of people who do experience this kind of stuff. Because uh, they'll always be in it, and, and like the jokes that that we make as uh, as uh, minorities, the jokes that we make are, are definitely like at our expense a lot of the times, but more so in like uh, mocking the idiots who would like say that kind of stuff. Uh, so you get people who are like nice and, and kind and, and actually care joining into into these like minority communities being like holy crap you guys are <laughs> you guys are messed up like what 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 the heck's happened to you like generous. who 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 who's 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 done this you know like uh, it's just it's always funny to me it's always funny to me but yeah, you know, it's just it's just the way it goes. So even when I'm playing chess, is, is the moral of the story. Even when I'm playing chess, you still you still get people who are gonna be weird about it. It's like everything's omegle to them. Everything's omegle. Omegle. Everything. Everything. You're playing Team Fortress too. Guess what? Too bad it's omegle. You're playing checkers at like a uh, you know elementary school. Competition? Too bad. It's Omegle. I wish I was kidding. I do. I really, truly do. But uh, it's always, it's always, you know, they want to know who you are, and they want to get your information, they want to talk to you, and they want to do all this kind of stuff. Or they want to call you, you know, all kinds of names that uh, I don't really want to say. It's one or the other, you know? It's one or the other. And yes, you get used to it. After after a certain point, you get used to it. Not something you should get used to, at all. So the uh, the the right um way to handle it is is to well not the right way, but the the best way for for your mental health as uh, as somebody in my position is to uh, hide the fact that I'm a trans woman. It's it's definitely much safer for me if I were to just pretend like I was a cis straight man. Much, much safer, but I'm not about that life. I'm not about that life. I haven't gotten too many, like, physical things, you know? Like, nobody really sends me, like, mail or and stuff. I don't, I don't get that kind of stuff too much. Um, but... Definitely a lot of a lot of messages online. No matter what you're doing, it's always it's, it's just it's, it makes you like you know one, one bad apple ruins the bunch, right? 
Cause it's, it's basically how it works. Cause it makes you it makes you scared of uh, of men. It, it does. It it, it it does. And I know that like annoys a lot of people when you're like, cause cause a lot of people be like, it's not all men. It's not all men. And I'm like, yeah, right. But I don't I don't know if the man I'm talking to is a part of the problem or not. And you know, and until uh, uh, and, until you know, there's there's evidence pointing towards them not being a part of the problem, and then people always say, you know, well, aren't they guilty until proven, you know, or aren't aren't they innocent until proven guilty? Yeah, except no, that's 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 the law. That's not you know, me trying to not get myself like murdered. It's kind of a it's kind of a different thing, right? But. It's a lot of drama around that kind of stuff. Any anything where you're talking about like like uh, and any kind of social movement of that sort, like Black Lives Matter and all this kind of stuff, it's always going to get the worst out in people who uh, who are going to be against it for whatever stupid reason. It's always a controversial topic, which is in itself like disappointing as hell. <laughs> it's like. You can you can talk about how it's like scary to meet men on the internet because you don't know if they're gonna like try and hurt you or not, and then people get mad at you for being scared. I'm <laughs> like, right, right. So I just have to. I don't know. It's it's like I I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. I don't know how to put my words into it properly. But I guess the way it kind of goes is. Um, you know, and you meet some guy in RuneScape or something, and they're like, Hey, what's your Discord? What's your WhatsApp? What's your this? What's your that? You know? Giving it to them is, most of the time, going to result in getting pictures of their penis and then possibly threats. That's that's the typical outcome of, of giving a guy your uh, your contact information of any kind. Is, uh, is penis pictures and uh, threats. That's 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 typically how it goes, and um, so when you when you meet a guy and they're asking you for it, you know, the the norm is for them to mess it up. That's the norm, you know. So so the the innocent until proven guilty is is kind of switched. You know, they're the innocent is they're gonna mess it up, and uh, the guilty is they're not. It kind of gets flipped around because the. The majority of people who are asking for for your details, you know, most most guys out there, you know, if, if you're in the in the group where you're like, well, I wouldn't send you a dick pic, you know, like not all not all guys are gonna do. It. If you're in that group, would you be asking for my Discord if you met me on a, in a Team Fortress 2 game in the first place? Probably not, right? Like of the subset, you know, of the of the group of guys who are going to ask for for contact information after meeting you for like two minutes, most of them are gonna be dick pics, and uh, you know, whereas uh, in real life, right, guilty until proven innocent or innocent until proven guilty. Um, most people aren't criminals, right? Like you pick some random on the street, pretty damn good chance that they're not a criminal, or at least not a major criminal. Um, so you're innocent until proven guilty because the majority of people are innocent. Um, whereas that's that's not true about the majority of people who are asking for for contact information from from women on the internet. So it kind of kind of gets flipped around. Anyway, it was just, uh, I thought it was, I thought, I thought it was safe in chess, you know? I thought it was safe in chess. He starts talking to me and asking, uh, it, it like sends you a message, too, when, when somebody starts talking to you on chess.com. It's, uh, it's like, hey, you know, such and such wants to, to talk. And then you'll get the, um, the chat thing pop up and then you'll be able to see it. So I, I pop it up and they're like, are you girl or guy? I'm like, girl. What's your name? Okay, you know, we're just... We're, I'm never gonna hit accept on that again. <laughs> it's just, uh... It's not worth it. 
It's not worth it. I have been having fun playing chess, though. I've been having fun. I've been having fun playing actual games against actual people. I'm not going to do it too much. I don't think I'm good enough to warrant playing actual chess too much. I, I really want to play mostly against the, like, computer. Uh, until I'm relatively okay at it, anyway. And then, you know, move up to, to playing against real people. Right, until until I'm pretty confident with at least, like, a couple of the, the end game, you know, scenarios. But... I had fun today. I had fun today. I was super disappointed, but I was. I had fun. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, though. Like I said, it's it's anytime somebody wants to talk to you, it's always. It's it's always it's always about it's always about the dicks. I want to knock this guy off something. I haven't. We haven't had a, a boss die to uh, environmental effects in quite a while. It's been uh, probably a couple hundred episodes now. It's been probably a couple hundred episodes since we had a boss die to environmental effects, you know, getting knocked off a ledge or falling into a pit or something like that, you know? It's been a while. Like, I don't know if that's a sign of me getting better or me getting worse. You know? If I'm just, like, so much better now that I don't even need the environmental effects at all. They don't even affect it at all. Or if I'm, uh, or if I'm worse because I'm not able to take advantage of them anymore. If I die here, that's you know probably evident of uh, one side over the other, <laughs> for sure, right? Yoink! I love this map. I wish the the textures were higher res, but I love this map. I do. Oh, I didn't know this. I didn't know it went around. That's nifty. Anywho, so that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye.